Playing video games on a projector has always been a dream of mine. Think about it. Your favorite video game up on a massive movie theater screen. That just sounds awesome. But in reality, every time you hook a video game console up to a projector, a couple things are going to happen. You're going to get really low frames per second, which makes the gameplay really choppy and not very fun. And the second thing is it's going to be super bright and washed out, which basically eliminates all the details within beautiful games like God of War. So I would venture to say that gaming is just really not made for projectors. At least that's what I thought until I tested out this product made by BenQ. Now they made a gamer's first projector specifically made to play video games. This is the X3000i 4K gaming projector made by BenQ. The BenQ X3000i delivers stunning 4K resolution, which makes it perfect for gamers who want to enjoy high quality visuals of AAA titles like Elden Ring or God of War. Additionally, it features HDR Pro, which which gives a high contrast in dark scenes. And with 3000 lumens of brightness, this projector delivers clear and vivid images even in brightly lit rooms. Now let's get to those frame rates which are truly gonna shock you. So reading the website, it says that you can game in 4K at 60 hertz, 1080 at 120, or 1080 at 240 hertz. Now even though this projector looks pretty good out of the box, I do like the fact that they have really great presets for RPG gamers, FPS, or even SPGs. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you see the X3000i is its unique shape. It's shaped like a cube and it's very different from the flat and rectangle design of a traditional projector. At first I thought it was kind of weird, but after seeing it inside of my living room and gaming setup, I actually really like the look. When we flip the projector around, you're going to notice that there is two HDMI ports on the back. One of them is ARC and eARC compatible. Continuing down the line, you're going to see a 12 volt trigger, a USB type A, an optical port, an RS-232, and of course an audio out. Moving on down there is an IR receiver as well as a pair of stereo speakers but these are really small in size so they're really not going to fill up your entire room. I definitely recommend hooking up surround sound. Now you can purchase separately the official ceiling mount from BenQ in order to mount this projector up on the ceiling where it should be but just in case you want to put it on a tabletop or a desk there are two adjustable feet on the bottom. As far as setup goes it is really simple with this projector but there is one additional step that is unlike a traditional projector and that is that BenQ is going to include an Android TV stick, which actually needs to be installed underneath the top plate. And to access this, it's really simple. You just unscrew the two screws on the back, and then you're going to lift the top plate up, which is going to expose a cubby and an additional third HDMI port, which you just simply plug into power and then into the HDMI port. Screw the two screws back in, and you're all done. After that, simply plug it into the wall, plug in an HDMI cable to your favorite gaming console, and turn on the projector. You will immediately be greeted with prompts displaying what type of resolutions you want to play, what type of games you're going to do if you want to turn it on FPS mode, RPG mode, so on and so forth. And you can test a couple of these different ones out. But for me, I found that FPS mode actually looked the best as far as presets go. Now, this projector does offer 2D keystoning, but I really recommend against this because once you start keystoning, it can kind of warp the image and give a little wrinkle effect in the screen. Not just this projector, but any projector in general. So if possible, ceiling mount and avoid keystone. So one of the most exciting things about using a projector is that massive screen. So let's talk about how big the screen is going to be depending on how far away you can get that projector away from the wall. So the website reads, if you can get between eight to 10 feet away, you're going to have upwards of a 100 inch screen on your wall, which is awesome. But if you can get 10 to 13 feet away, you're going to up it to 120 inch image. If you can get over 12 feet away from from the wall, you can get up to a 150 inch screen to game on. One thing I wanted to mention is that even though this is a gaming projector, you can still watch YouTube movies or even TV shows on it, just like a normal living room TV. So the first game I tried out was Elden Ring. This game was very fun to play other than me dying a thousand times because this game's extremely hard. It also looked beautiful. This happened to be a very dark level that I was on and the projector handled it extremely nice and I was able to see a lot of detail in it. Next up, playing God of War on this projector was an absolute pleasure. You can see the vivid colors and the bright 
details in this game, especially when I hop in the canoe and start rowing down the river. This looks so amazing, and I don't know if you can notice, but there's a little bit of a mist in the air. It's just amazing the detail that we can capture on a projector screen. Next up, Hogwarts Legacy. I felt such immersion playing this game. It was just so much fun casting spells and running around this mythical castle on the big screen. I loved it so much. The details were incredible, and of course, the contrast in this game looks really good on this projector. The best free game to come out on a console since Wii Sports, Astro's Playroom. This game has so many Easter eggs in it, and it is a lot of fun to play with friends or the whole family, which is why this is the perfect game to play on a projector like this. And of course, this game is bright, vivid, and colorful too, which you can clearly see displayed in the gameplay. Lastly, I had to try out a true FPS game, so I threw in Modern Warfare 2, and boy, let me tell you, I was surprised with the frame rate, the resolution, and the sheer size of the screen. I actually had a blast playing on public matchmaking lobbies. I wouldn't necessarily recommend or try this on a ranked game mode, but for all intensive purposes, this was a lot of fun, and I gotta say, I would love to play the campaign mode on this projector. Now, even though you guys saw me having a ton of fun playing Modern Warfare 2 in the last clip, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for FPS competitive style gamers only, but if you like playing party games, RPG games, sports games, or anything like that, you are going to have an absolute blast just like I did gaming on this projector. And the cool thing is, even though it is a $2,000 premium gaming accessory, it actually doubles as your living room TV, which you will now have, for all intensive purposes, a home theater built into your living room to watch movies, TV shows, or even YouTube videos just like this one.